All right, y'all, it is Sunday. It is the last day of competition. It is the first time in 10 years that TLI hasn't had an athlete in the finals. So if you don't know, IBJJF has this new rule where they're letting all of the top 10 teams bring their own videographer and they have the right to actually take videos. So before, if you were working at a tournament, you could only do pictures. You weren't allowed to take videos. Flow Grappling would run around and they would stop people from taking videos like in the stands. So they used to be like really strict with it. This is the first time I've ever seen at a major event where they actually let in videographers. So if you've been watching Flow and maybe you see me running around, you'll notice I have a different color vest. BJJ Korea has a different color vest because she's here with Dream Art. So everybody that has a brown vest is there for a specific team. My team is Team Lloyd Irvin. Um, normally I work for Flow Grappling, so I've never actually had a vest at a major competition. This is a little bit different for me. But since we're not in the competition today, but Gabi Pesanya is, I asked her coach, Marcio de Dios, who always works for IBJJF, so I know he knows everybody at IBJJF, plus half the City of, City of God squad is working there. I asked him if he could get me permission to go with Gabby tomorrow for the finals because she's an absolute beast. She comes from a social project. Although she does compete in in-fight, in-fight isn't in the top 10, so they don't have the right to get the videography. But at the same time, Gabby has been killing it. She's amazing. She's been winning everything since Brown Belt. So like, how are you not gonna have this footage? Also, what I found out yesterday, and you'll see it in my blog, um, I think it's like the four, the snitches don't even speak English, and that one, um, Marcio hit me to the fact that Gabby is being honored by the city of Rio. They're building a plaza, they're reforming a road. Now, the city of God is a flat favela. If you don't know what a favela is, favelas are like the shanty towns or like the at-risk communities, the slums in Rio, but generally they're found on mountaintops, you know? So people, like maids and everybody that worked in the city that didn't have homes instead of commuting out into the suburbs they kind of went up into the mountains and they built these homes so that's like the origins of favelas the city of god favela however is one of the few flat favelas it's just all straight streets if you've ever seen the movie you'll clearly see they were not running up mountains you can get cars through there it might not be paved um, but they have streets like in cantagallo there's only one street that goes all the way up to the top to get anywhere else it's alleyways so he said that they're reforming a street there and then they're gonna build a plaza at the end of the street. Um, it's gonna be all decorated with graffiti and art and the name of the plaza is gonna be Gabriel Pasaña, Gabriel Pasaña. So they're naming a whole plaza after her, which is amazing. Cause you know, the idea of having favela Jiu Jitsu and doing what I do is kind of change the narrative of what is a favela. It has such a negative stereotype. Like people from outside of Brazil, they love to kind of travel to Brazil and do favela tours and go into those areas and see what it's like. But there's a lot of people from Brazil themselves that speak Portuguese that would never go into those areas. They're really marginalized. And so it's just amazing to see like, there are so many athletes from the favela that are here and not just here competing worldwide, learning English, getting interviewed on flow grappling because now they can translate things. But the fact that she is being honored with a whole plaza that the state, well, Rio is a state and then there's Rio a city, kind of like New York. So it's the city of Rio, the Prefeitura, that's honoring her. So we had to go and try to get the rights to get some footage because I might not do anything with it now, but just to have it in general, like high quality footage of her when she was competing, when she's getting this double gold, becoming black belt world champion, that's really important. So it's gonna be dope to be able to follow her around today and get all that. What's gonna be super awkward is that she fights with Yara, who's also a good friend of mine. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I could be saying this stuff, but like, since, you know, I don't, ex I'm gonna get mad views on this, but like, I'll let y'all know, Yara and May are trying to come back to TLI. They trained at TLI before. Um, they're from Sao Paulo, they're from Gigo Jiu Jitsu, and now both of them are in Dream Art, but Dream Art is in Sao Paulo, so they fight under Dream Art. I know Yara was training every now and then at Gigo still, but they used to come to TLI for competition season, to train for Pans, to train for Worlds. So now Yara wants to come back. May said he wants to come back. Yara's always wanted to be here. She's 
trying to get a driver's license and learn English and do a lot of things so she can kind of establish herself here. May, on the other hand, not so much. And not to like, well, not to like talk shit. It's not talking shit, but I think that's just how a lot of Brazilians are. Like, Muhammad Ali and Urbeth came to TLI at the same time. Um, Muhammad stayed, but Urbeth couldn't hack it. And it wasn't the training, it's like the culture. And Muhammad will speak on this a lot. It's not like Brazil. It's not like, you know, despite the fact that TLI is a big family, that's mainly like the kids group, but like the adults, like Muhammad didn't feel like that camaraderie, like, yeah, we're gonna go train and then we're gonna go eat. Then we're gonna go to like the discotecas or the baile funkies on the weekends where the team is always there. And you know how I have that calor, you know, that, south american heat kind of thing so culturally it can be really hard for some people and i think it was really hard for may because like may didn't speak any english and he even lost his glasses so he was here for months like i'm not sure if it was like six but at least three months until worlds where he had lost his glasses and he couldn't see right and because he couldn't see right he was getting headaches but he was still training and he still killed it so it can be very trying for Brazilian athletes to come here and stay here for an extended period of time, you know, finding the kind of food that you want because Brazilians love to eat rice, beans, and macaroni all in one meal. Really weird. You can't get that anywhere here in the U.S. though. So it'll be really dope to have the two of them come back. But then Master Lloyd's like, yeah, if she comes back. We're just going to be training to beat Gabby. So it's like, Gabby's a good friend of mine. Yara is a good friend of mine. But like to know that both of them are always fighting each other all the time, it's really funny. Because um, I even asked Yara, I was like, did you fight her yet? He's like, no. I was like, how do you feel about it? Like, you know, you travel all around the world. New York, Cali, Florida, Abu Dhabi, England. You travel all around the world to fight the same girl that's in the same country as you. So how do, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Yara just looked at me, she's like, I wanna kill her. And I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like, that was awkward. But it would be really dope. So I'm excited to be able to go down there and chill with Gabby and have the energy from the city of God. That crew is always going all out for their people. And it's like, hopefully she'll get that double gold. But if she doesn't get that double gold, like, you know, hopefully Yara's the other person. Like, so maybe one gold medal each would be, you know, best for me. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I'll film some more once I get to the competition. Peace, y'all.